Hello there gamers, I'm the 8 Ninja, and today we are back with another episode of Prison Architect. Now, today we're starting a new prison because our last prison got messed up by yours truly, I mean myself. But yes, I kind of messed it up. I'm not sure how I managed to do that so easily, but the point is, it's broken and it, it's unsalvageable. So there's no point in even whining about it because it's broken. It's doomed. There's no there's no salvation for the old prison. But anyways, we're going to start a new one now and it's going to be 10,000 times better, says myself. All right, so we're going to I've already started the basics of it uh, laying down the groundwork. We're going to totally flip everything upside down on its head though. Actually, we won't on right there. Uh, but we're going to flip everything upside down. By that I mean literally flip it upside down so everything is in reverse because that's how you change things and make them better. You flip them upside down. But yeah, we're going to start off by setting up two offices instead of just one. And actually, we could probably make three. Let's go ahead and make three just for the fun of it. There we go. All right, so don't put one right there. And you already put one there, you suck. Okay. Well, we'll put one right there and right there. So don't put one there. There we go. All right, so that is our first three offices already done. Now we're trying to set up this right here. Now, as you can see, we have it on. Uh, we have the fog of doom uh, involved, and also we have the unlimited or the repeating prisoners. I don't know what it's called exactly, but we have that turned on as well. So we're pretty much doomed. Either way, it, it, eventually it's going to end, and I think that's when we're going to actually end the series for this game. But eventually it's going to end, and everyone's going to die, so that's how we're going to end this series. I have decided that. Right, but anyways, that bench seems pretty far out from the wall. Oh well, okay. But we have our offices set up. Now this one is missing quite a few stuff. And we have our basic prison area set up, so we're going to go ahead and stick our jail door right there. Alright, so the basic stuff we need, we need all of this junk. Now we're going to go through and build that all again, because we can. Alright, so we really need to get a warden going, because, frankly, we need a warden. Okay, so pausing it, and we will set up this office real fast. Uh, where's the desk that we need? Office desk, okay. We'll put the desk right there, right there, and right there. I don't know why we're putting it even with the door, but that's okay. Put a chair, chair. And share and I decided to get three desks this time instead of just the one desk I don't know why I decided to do that I just did so I hope you guys don't mind that but yeah all right there we go all right so that should be good that should make three offices perfect offices of amazingness and yeah now this is a series that I'm gonna continue doing until we fail with this prison we're just gonna continue doing it and it's gonna be awesome and we're gonna make an amazing prison and then actually you know what we're not even gonna fail we're gonna go until we succeed actually that's probably never gonna happen so until we fail or succeed either way it's gonna be lots of fun and this series is something I'm looking forward to doing over the next couple weeks until uh, the next month starts I don't know if we'll do it next month it kind of depends on how long this goes on for but we will see all right we got this power station set up it should already be powering this little guy here so we'll go ahead get some basic pump and go into this toilet here there we go and then we can go ahead and set up our electricity for this building as well run it right down the middle all the way through to there that should work perfectly all right so now that we got electricity running for that area we need to get some plumbing running for this area but first we need to set up our prison cells because that's something I always seem to forget to do now they have to be two by three I think and we're gonna go ahead and hire another guard because frankly who likes looking at the fog there we go. Alright, so having paused it, we're gonna continue. Okay, so two by three. That should be one. Actually, I don't know if they have to be two by three or three by three, but oh well. We're gonna go like this and hope that that's big enough. Let's see. Set up a cell right there. Two by three. Bam. Okay, so it is big enough. Alright, so we'll go ahead and repeat that action multiple times and we'll let them work while we do it because frankly, we're, they're gonna have to work a whole bunch. And we're going to have one tiny walkway for the guards to go through so they can just live with it because frankly I messed up by one freaking space but I don't care that much. Okay, so we got five. There we go. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab our guard and move him over here. Go faster. Thank you very much. Alright, and this right here, this right here, this right here, and right there. 
Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we got nine. One too many, but frankly, it's better to have too many than too little, because we're going to need them eventually. All right, and that's a train in the background. That's annoying. I hate that train. It comes by every time I record. Oh, well. All right, but I'm going to be doing a couple new games this month. Uh, not this month, but over the next couple weeks and next month, we're going to have some awesome games coming into our channel. Uh, the, there should be one that I'm going to record today. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get it done or not, but I'm going to try. Wait, we need our beds first. Bed, bed. Bed, 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 and bed. There we go. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to try and record some Don't Starve. For those of you who do not know what that is, it is a survival game. A survival adventure game of sorts, or sandbox survival. It's kind of a mixture of a bunch of things. But pretty much, uh, you try not to starve. You try to survive. And it's lots of fun, and we're going to try it. I know it doesn't sound very good for my description, but I encourage, I encourage you, all of you who are looking at this, to go and check out my channel and check out that series. And some of my other series is, 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 as well, because they're fun. Alright, but let's see. We got our office built, and we still haven't hired a warden, and there's that stupid train again. Hire the warden. Now we need to get our cleaning guy. I don't think we actually ever got a cleaning guy before, which is kind of a shame, because the cleaning guy is pretty awesome. Oh, we got our Polaroid. Sweet. Alright, go away, sling a train, whatever. Alright, so I think we're all good for the night. We are pretty set. We're gonna go ahead and get our fence set up. Oh, we don't even have a door there. That would probably be helpful jail door oh and also we need to set up a fence door area right here fence door there and there and then let's get an actual door in there jail door now they can't escape because we hate it when our prisoners escape because that's never good all right so if we should up one fence right there kind of a pointless waste of a fence but hey it's better than nothing. Alright, so we'll drag all of this all the way out there. Drag this all the way out there. I don't know how long that needs to be, so I'm not going to drag it anymore. Right there. And all the way out here. And there. Okay, that should do. Okay. Oh, I got it perfect. How lucky is that? That's just awesome. Alright, but once we got that fence set up, we should have a yard. Now we need a shower. Okay. Well, clearly, this has not been very big. So, yeah, that sucks. That's too bad for all of our prisoners, but frankly, I couldn't care less. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and set up our utilities. Large pipe running there, and then all the way through here to there-ish. That ought to work. And we gotta plumb these toilets. So plumbing down. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is so many repetitive tasks in this game. It's so awesome. I really love this game. Even though you have to do things so many times, it's so much fun. It really is. And I know I make fun of it for that, but oh well. Alright, materials. Let's get another couple prisons going in here. Or cells, not prisons. A prison within a prison. That would be amazing. Prisonception. That would be win. Alright, how long do we want to make this? We'll just go until, no, we don't need one right there, false, oh well, there, there, and I think we can set up one more, you think, nah, that's too much, that's too, too little space, oh well, alright, so we'll go ahead and get our guard, come on guard, what, install large pipage, I don't need that, I can't grab the freaking guard, oh well, Wait, there we go, okay, we can grab him now. Okay, so move him down here so we can set up our other cells and whatnot. Okay, cell right there, right there, right there, right there. Hopefully that'll be enough cells, because if it's not, we're going to have to make a whole new cell block. And I'm not ready for a new cell block yet, but oh well. Let's see, shower. We'll set the shower area to be there. That ought to work. Okay, now let's see. Objects. And shower heads. Now we're gonna try and make this even. Let's see, how can I make this even? One there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's try that. Please be even. Yes! Okay, finally we got a even shower. That means this prison is going to be a success. That's what that even shower indicates. I'm not kidding. Whenever you have an even shower, it means you're gonna have a successful prison.